With nearly four decades in advertising, Shashi Sinha is someone who is widely acknowledged for his contribution to the advertising and media industry. Triple A's of I has recently announced their Lifetime Achievement Award for 2023 to be given to Shashi Sinha. Today, I'm catching up with Shashi at his residence in Mumbai. Four decades in advertising. When you joined the industry on your first day, did you even imagine spending no these chance. many years in advertising? No absolutely. I was in sales in UB mm. and uh, my United Breweries, my boss who used to be there moved to Ulka in advertising and uh, he moved in and he said to me, you come and he gave me a big spiel. So I took a 20% salary cut to come into advertising and such a dramatic difference. I said, listen, I'm going to last here more than a year or two. You know, that's what it was all about. So I thought I'll probably quit in a year's time. But look at that, you know, where the journey is taken. It has been a long, uh, long, long association. What was your first day in Ulka? Like, if you so recall. So, I joined as account planner. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Didi Saxena, the guy who got me in, uh, uh, when I came in, moved out to Bangalore. Hmm. So, I was reporting directly to Bal Mundkur. And Bal Mundkur didn't understand what account planning was all about. So, he said, listen, what will you do? It's a good question. You hired me. You tell me what will I do? <laughs> so, he didn't understand. So, he said, okay, some clients, all odd jobs I was doing. So, financial advertising, I would do. I would do selling sponsored programs. So I think it went on like this for two, three months. And I told DD one day, I said, what is this? Mm. You know, you got me into this. I, I'm not enjoying it one bit. But it was a great learning. I, I learned the business very well. Used to meet senior people. Was advertising was handled by senior people at CI, at Sibagagi. Mm. But then luckily for me, and a story I never tire of telling, you know, four or five months, uh, maybe three months after, I joined in February. And June, July, uh, heavy rain. And that time, I had a small business, all Rajas. So Bal and the entire leadership team gone to on holiday to London. And there's no one in office, some other people in office, you know, uh, out planned meetings. Dr. Kurian hmm. of uh, Gujarat Corporate Mill Marketing Federation, yes. he came into the office. There's no one else in the room. So I was paraded, was, you know, and I'm mortally scared as a junior most person there. And he spoke to me briefly for five minutes and he said, when your leadership comes back, you bring him on to uh, the Anand campus. Hmm. And they were all very excited because Amul has been an iconic brand and even then it was very iconic. Yeah. So we all went back there. And then, fortunately, he took a liking and, you know, I stayed on. I think that was the turning point. Yeah. So then, we, you know, there's a fabulous account to work on. Some of your previous conversations uh, with me, you have mentioned that two people uh, have had a sizable impact um, on your life. One was Dr. Kurian and the other one was Anil Kapoor. Yes. So if you can share, you know, what was it like working with these two and, you know, some interesting anecdotes, some learnings that you got from these two people. Dr. Kurian, the great thing was he never, ever in my uh, interactions with him over those many years when he was hands-on, he never interfered. We hmm. used to go and present to him. Whatever he presented, he would accept. Hmm. So he said that to us in the beginning. You know, I, I still remember my first episode. As a junior most guy, we had gone. He gave us a brief on that. That should tell the story. of This brand called Amulia, hmm. we were launching. He said, okay, first project. So all the entire senior people, there was, I was a junior most fellow there. Eight, nine of them. Bal Mundkar had come back. DD6 in our room. All of them were there. And uh, they put some eight, nine packs in front of him hmm. to select. You know, they were so awestruck by him. So he said, no, fine, you tell me which one. Hmm. You know, and uh, there was stunned silence because no one had thought that, that, what to recommend. And, you know, 30-second silence in front of a young man can be very, very pregnant. Hmm. So I turned around and put my finger on one pack. And everyone looked at me dirtily because, you know, no one had thought of it. <laughs> and that pack, even today after 40 years exists, the green color pack of Amulia is still there. So oh. Dr. Kurian said, yes, done, tapped his fingers and walked out. So yeah. he had big learning that day and he walked back in again. Yeah. He said, next time when you come, you must come with a recommendation, one recommendation. Don't don't give me options. And then, of course, there are many, many stories. You know, he taught us confidence. I mean, hmm. we could uh, we could treat clients as equals, you know. Hmm. And some of the clients who speak were his friends. And could you Listen, there was respect. He wanted to earn respect. Hmm. So what he said, whatever you do, you must earn respect. Uh, and that can only come from good work or good thinking or good strategy or whatever. Hmm. So he taught us confidence, which otherwise, you know, advertising, you always find the client is right. Hmm. So he said, client may be right, but you give your point of view forward. So I think yeah. they were very strong, uh, strong impression both these guys. Yeah. And what was it like to work with the original Ulka gang? You know, Nitin, oh, was, Ambi, and oh, all of you, interestingly, have stayed with the same organization yes, yes, for, yes. you know, such Anil a long built time. This team. Anil hmm. built this team. So we used to all sit, we were dramatically different personalities, but we used to coil well, way together. Hmm. So any meeting with Anil, you know, would be the, the round table in his room where all of us sit yeah. around and he would discuss. Each meeting would last five, six hours. What would hmm. be discussed in 10 minutes? Because he wanted to hear his point of view. He would want to see a counterpoint, you know, would argue against himself. 
Hmm. And you couldn't agree as Ambi used to call it a patshala. He said this <laughs> is a patshala started, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so we'd all sit in there. Hmm. Each one is, but we gelled well. I hmm. mean, they're dramatically different personalities. But the yeah. fact that we worked as our senior positions for so many years together, huh. more than 20 years, Nagesh, Arvind, you know. I think it was in early 2000s when you made that, uh, switch, you know, switch absolutely. to for, to media. Yeah, yeah. And what was that switch like? And uh, did you always uh, know back then that you know you had the acumen for media planning? I don't know the acumen. I loved media. So yeah. when Bal Mudkar asked me to start sponsored programs, you know, hmm. while I cursed him that time, but later on I enjoyed that. Yeah. And I always, when we were doing a lot of work, I used to enjoy the media part of it. And Anil saw that and he hmm. forced that change, you know, I, in a way resisted. Hmm. But uh, the one big thing which uh, occurred to me, which I must take credit, I mean, well, uh, 2004 when it happened. So I also did a small regional role for a short period of time for FCB. Hmm. But the Tata AOR broke up and then we became very big. Hmm. So, you know, Tata Motors came, uh, TCS came, Tata Indicom came, Tata hmm. Corporate came. So we needed, and Amul of course was there, many clients hmm. were there, Wipro was there. Nerulak was there. So we needed a full-time thing, you know, mm. so Anil felt full-time. So I said, I'll move in there. I offered mm. because he also felt that, you know, I was there. A lot of my friends, and I can see it on camera, that's saying you're being sidelined. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're being sidelined. So, side so a lot of my friends yeah. said, don't take this job. Huh. Because media that time is very small. Yeah. Uh, some of my closest friends said, you know, um, we will get the main job. You're getting this. You're going to run Nurka. Yeah. So I said, no, I have faith in myself. I knew what I was doing. Mm. And uh, so I'm telling you a true story. I mean, I've never said this. So so as I, I knew I enjoyed it. I said, we'll make it big because media mm. was very small that time. Yeah. Media was extremely small hmm. and you know the other learning which I may take a minute to explain to you. So I went to two, three key people, Ashutosh was there and uh, hmm. other couple I will not name, some other stalwarts who were running uh, media that time. Hmm. And I quickly realized that uh, and that is if I may say my contribution, I said listen, you know you cannot just be a department, you cannot be a service, you have to be profitable. Finally hmm. a global company, uh, you know, you have to be, you have to have scale and scale only comes with money, you know. Hmm. You make money, you invest back in tools and techniques, you get more business, then you make, so it's a virtual cycle. So I think if my contribution or at least if I may say at all was hmm. to understand that very quickly in 2004, hmm. that this is the future. Hmm. There's no way you can just be quality without uh, being a profitable PNL. Yeah. You, you cannot survive yeah. in a global company. Yeah. So that helped. Hmm. Today I'm happy to say that we are, you know, all the creative agencies in the group, we are probably uh, two to three times the size in terms of yeah. Revenue and maybe five times the size and profit. Yeah, yeah. So I think that that big difference uh, has happened. And today, not only us, media per se has grown. Yeah. So big. So that transition at that point in mm. time, if I'd faltered, mm. at that point in time, saying you know that uh, as someone, I will not mention someone very close to me. Is, how does it matter to you? You don't make money. You're the part of a large organization. Mm. I said to Anil. Hmm. I said to Anil when Lotsa started, I said it has to be a separate PNL. He said, but mm. you can't. You'll lose money. It doesn't matter. Hmm. I should know where I am. Hmm. So I don't want it to, you know, feed off something else. Hmm. It should be standalone and uh, let it build from there. You have also been actively involved in all of these industry bodies and organization, uh, you know, yeah. uh, Bark, for example, yeah. uh, Ad Club yeah. uh, you've been involved yeah. with. So what is that like? So, you know, I have come from a basic mindset. A lot of people say, hmm. why do you give me so much time? You know, you know, my wife says, you know, so much time for this. So my whole thinking is that, you know, I come from a genuine belief mm. system that the industry grows, we will grow. Mm. We can never grow, by, we compete by day. Mm. But I always come that we must collaborate by night. So we discussed one key defining moment in this journey, which was, of course, the switch to media. What others have uh, been the moments that you think really defined, you know, this uh, path and journey? So one, of course, I think the, the decision to uh, acquire interactive avenues, mm. I think that was really, really big. Hmm. Because from a global system point of view, digital is a very big thing. Hmm. And they really have contributed a lot. They have scaled up our capabilities. You know, we, hmm. we to a lot of our clients, the integration we see, hmm. you know, our ability to work with clients like Amazon, you know, hmm. is only possible if the, uh, that company was there. Hmm. So that's one. The second is uh, something funny we want to say to you. Bhaskar Das, first, the first industry body I got into was that club. Hmm. And Bhaskar Das got me into it. And you know, all of us, and I don't mind saying it on camera again, we, we lack confidence. We don't know. Today, if you ask me, it's, I mean, if you can, uh, bark is there, I see it every day. So that looks like it's tough. Yeah. But, you know, we lack confidence. Bhaskada held my hand and he got me in, you know. Mm. And I think that is a big thing because mm. dealing with, uh, uh, you know, disparate people, mm. you learn so much. Mm. You know, in industry, today if I'm bark, so while it's a tough job, I sit and work, I know so much. I can challenge you. I know so much about television. A lot of my people don't know. Mm. I'm not saying they're not competent. They're extremely competent. Mm. But the exposure is limited. Hmm. I'm meeting tons and tons of people. So the exposure to all of these industry bodies has really, really helped. Actually, yeah. frankly, that's made a big difference.